Hello, everybody. I'm very happy to be here. I hope you can hear me well. Um, anyway, I will not say many words because um, we brought you a small documentary movie we have produced to show the objectives, the, the implementation and the impacts of our pilot project in Bolivia. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy the movie. And afterwards, I will be happy to, to answer your questions. Renewable energy has an important role in sustainable development, both in its environmental component through clean power generation and consequently climate change integration, as well as its social component through local social economic development, which is permitted by renewable energy technologies, specifically in rural areas of developing countries. Bolivia tiene aproximadamente 600.000 hogares, casi 3 millones de personas que no tienen acceso a energía eléctrica y que en las condiciones actuales no van a tener. Por lo tanto, las energías renovables son realmente su alternativa para tener fuentes modernas de energía. La pregunta es si las deudas, a veces en tiempo de lluvia, en Bosta nos guardamos, tapamos con bolsitas de este nylon, ¿no ve? Entonces, hasta eso se moja. La aplicación de las energías renovables en Bolivia es básicamente en el área rural, donde no hay otra forma, las energías convencionales no llegan aquí. Ok. Um. We will just start the video again because the subtitles didn't appear and probably not all of you speak Spanish, so... <laughs> gestern mit einem anderen Programm kann das sein. Weiß ich nicht, was ist das jetzt für ein... Renewable Energy has an important role in sustainable development, both in its environmental component through clean power generation and consequently climate change mitigation, as well as its social component through local social economic ja, development, which is permitted by renewable English. energy also technologies, specifically in rural areas of developing countries. Bolivia tiene aproximadamente 600.000 hogares, casi 3 millones de personas que no tienen acceso a energía eléctrica y que en las condiciones actuales no van a tener. Por lo tanto, las energías renovables son realmente su alternativa para tener fuentes modernas de energía. Y la primera necesidad es el gas. A veces en tiempo de lluvia, en Bosta nos guardamos, tapamos con bolsitas de este nylon, ¿no ve? Entonces, hasta eso se moja. La aplicación de las energías renovables en Bolivia es básicamente en el área rural, donde no hay otra forma. Las energías convencionales no llegan y en muchos casos no van a llegar. Tecnologías que generan electricidad y thermal energy through solar, wind, hydro, geothermal y biomass energy can not only help reduce dependence on fossil fuels but also contribute to reducing poverty. Sometimes this energy can enhance production processes and the generation of local employment. In countries like Bolivia, with a high percentage of rural population living in remote, <laughs> isolated and scattered places, these technologies can provide energy to people who have no access to the electrical grid and to the supply of gas or LPG for cooking. As we see, the particularity of Bolivia in a very extensive country, with little population in relation to this territory, the renewable energy is a solution for many communities. The importance of renewable energy development in the country has led the Bolivian Catholic University to participate in the joint European Latin American universities Renewable Energy Project, Gelave. Concretamente se enmarca en el programa Alfa, que es un programa de relacionamiento entre instituciones de educación superior de América Latina y de Europa. 
fortalece en ese sentido las, los lazos entre ambas regiones a nivel de educación superior. It is a model for cooperation involving universities in Germany, Latvia, Bolivia, Brazil, Chile and Guatemala in order to encourage innovative educational and research proposals oriented towards a renewable energy market in Latin American and European higher education institutions. No solamente es eh, algo que se hace académicamente o científicamente y que queda en papel, sino que ahora se va practicando lo que es o debería ser la energía renovable. Through this project, the Bolivian Catholic University has implemented a pilot project, Technology Transfer for Rural Energization with Renewable Energy. In this context, a demonstrative center for renewable energy technologies was implemented in the rural academic unit in Batallas. Batallas is a municipality with 18,000 inhabitants, located 75 kilometers from the city of La Paz in the highlands of Bolivia. The town of Batallas and the surrounding communities are mainly engaged in activities related to livestock and milk production. The extreme poverty rate is 59%. The community is connected to the electrical grid, but the supply of gas for cooking is insufficient. The Rural Academic Unit of Batalias offers two undergraduate careers, agribusiness and veterinary medicine. It has an educational industrial farm that is used for the education of its students, and it also produces organic foods. This educational industrial farm is the site of the implementation of the Janare pilot project. Los equipos instalados constituyen una especie de laboratorio real donde los estudiantes de la Universidad Católica Boliviana y los estudiantes de la UAC Batallas y otras universidades puedan asistir para ver los equipos en tiempo real, ver cómo funcionan, para capacitarse. As a goal of the Demonstrative Center for Renewable Energy Technologies, the university proposed providing education to students of different majors in this area, offering training for various stakeholders in the sector, and spreading knowledge on renewable energy in this rural area. The demonstrative center has examples of all the renewable energy systems that are used for rural energization in Bolivia. Next to each system, there is a banner explaining the technical features of the system.